Hey, today I want to talk about um, something special about SAP. So by default, when we click record inside OpenRPA, we first get a get element of the technology type that matches what we're doing. We can then using item dot access various properties and functions and interact with that item. We can also use that as a parameter for click or highlight or whatever. Um, so SAP inside OpenRPA also supports this. So now in the latest release, uh, record with get element is on by default. So if I go and click record and I click uh, somewhere, as you can see, the, the robot catches that. There we go. Um, and and um, and 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 I can now run that, and and the robot does what I just did, right? It 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 that that works, right? I can highlight the element, I can modify my selector and drill down to whatever specific thing is that I want. You know, I can do all the things that we're used to. But there are specific things that sometimes just doesn't work with that inside SAP. Um, so, for instance, if we go into this. Uh, uh, this page. Uh, if I click record and I want to click the search button, uh, as you can see, it's highlighting the entire line. It can't really see that button. And if I click it, it 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 looks weird, right? Uh, it it if I highlight it, it's finding the entire panel. And if I click it, I get an arrow saying, "Hey, you can't click a panel or a QR shell in this case." So so how can we fix that? So. In OpenAPA, we can actually record the raw GUI scripting commands that is actually happening and then replay those. So if I click record and I click the search button, now it works. I can add some text inside here and I can click OK. Um, and that means that now I actually have the raw commands that actually happened. So if I go back in. Um, if I now click play, you will see that it actually does the search. If I don't click, oh, uh, click OK, you can actually see that it's opening a search window and then typing the text. And the way it does that is that now we can actually use in work method and set property to actually interact with the SAP UI client. And that gives us full control and full access to everything inside SAP. So this kind of gives us the best of both worlds, if we could call it that. Uh, but at least it gives us the option to actually do anything that we would want to do inside SAP. Um, I hope this helps. Bye.